Oh god, that's that shit. And of course, you know, best way. Best Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, David has worked really yeoman's hours to get the city of Brockton designated as a Purple Heart city, a Purple Heart community. And I want to thank everybody that is here today. We're going to do an official unveiling. We had a wonderful lunch a couple weeks ago with 25 Purple Heart recipients, those that were living and those that have passed their families joined us. We're going to continue to do that. That's what Brockton's about. We're going to continue to always work together and honor those, learn from the past to forge to the future. So, Mr. Farrell, thank you. And, and I want to recognize Tom Bolander, who is a Purple Heart recipient here today with us. Good morning, I'm Tom Minicello and here in Veterans Day in Brockton. Um, we were going to say hello to a couple people who are now trying to avoid the camera, but we love these Brockton boxer people. So, we, <laughs> good morning, happy Veterans Day to everybody. Well, we're here in Brockton on Belmont Street. Mary Waldron, nice to see you today. Good you're gonna, to you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be doing wait, the. Uh, don't go, everybody. Yep, no, everyone, everyone's gotta come on in. Come on into the shot. Come on in. We got the pavilion. Happy got Veterans Day. Yeah. We've got everybody. So this is right. It's a family event. And this is a great day. Giving thanks to our veterans for their service. Exactly. Well, I was gonna say, what does Veterans Day mean to you? What does Veterans Day mean to you? Uh, honoring those who fought for our country. Thank you. Well said. Um, and what does Veterans Day mean to you? Honoring our veterans and people who fought for our country so that we can be the free, have the freedom that we have. Well, that's great. That's this great. Hi. Oh, from, from, good morning. Happy Veterans Day to everybody. So what does Veterans Day mean to you? I think it means to like to support the veterans and like always think about them. Very well said. Um, are you here with mom and dad? Yeah. Mom, it looks like mom's trying to hide behind <laughs> my, my right shoulder. But dad's a, dad, dad's a big ham. He, he'll say hello to us. We go. Perfect. John O'Donnell, how are you? Good Happy morning, Veterans Tom. Day. Same to you. Good to, see you. Good to see you. Nice to be seen, as they say. Yes. Good to be seen. Beautiful day in Brockton. Nice dry yes. weather. Crisp, clean. Definitely a nice day. A lot of nice people out on the street. This is great. This is, this is what it's all about. It's about the veterans today. And about the country. Yes. So, well, thanks for coming out. And uh, we'll see who else wants to hide from the camera here in Brockton most on Veterans Day. Most, most, yeah, most, most You should be people. marching. Exactly. Well, I'm going to march, but they asked me to do this. So I'm going to, this is, this, is, this is my civic duty today. Awesome. So. Good job, Tom. Well, Congratulations good to see you. To oh, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Um, we are here on Veterans Day in Brockton on Belmont Street. Uh, I would like to say happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. And um, as, as I was walking over to the crew, who do I meet but a veteran? Lewis, good morning. Happy Veterans Day and thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Could you, um, could you tell us uh, your name and where you're from? Lewis Norat and I'm from Brockton. A great Brocktonian who served in the military. Lewis, can you tell us uh, when you served and, and, and what branch and what you did? Sure. I served for 37 years. I was in the United States Army, the United States Army Reserve, and Massachusetts uh, Infantry National Guard. Uh, during that time, I was able to travel to Korea, uh, Panama, uh, Germany, Iceland, Iraq, and a couple other countries on temporary duty. Wow, that's 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 a, a great number of countries uh, serving serving our great nation. Um, what were some of your nice memories or good memories of your service? When I first came into the military, um, the Cold War was still on, and the mil the Army had nuclear options, six nuclear options, in order to stop that war, for the battles, and so I was an Army. Uh, tactical nuclear weapon repair person. Uh, that was done away with a uh, treaty, an arms treaty, and I converted to be an ammunition specialist and also an infantryman and an intelligence, intelligence analyst. How, um, how old were you when you went into the military? 
I was 18. And did the military provide you with a, a career path or um, a, a life after the military? Or I can basically say that my family and I are part of the middle class because of the military. It provided me uh, good experiences, excellent friends, work companions, and something that I look forward to doing in order to protect the country. That's wonderful, Lois. Um, were you from Brockton when you went in? Are you a Brocktonian, or where, did we, where were you from? Actually, I was born in Puerto Rico because my father was in the military. Oh, okay, great, great. And uh, how did you end up in Brockton? In Brockton is because uh, my wife came up here to work at uh, Harvard, and so we moved to Brockton because uh, we liked uh, Brockton as a city. Uh, it was back in 86. Yeah, what, oh, in the 80s. Yeah, there was a lot going on in Brockton in the 80s. Yeah, yeah well, I appreciate it. We, uh, we, um, we're glad to speak with you today. This is a great day, uh, Veterans Day here in Brockton. We wanted to show our appreciation. And again, thank you so much for your service, Louis. A pleasure, a pleasure to talk to you today. My honor. Thank you. Your name is Patty McAvoy? It is, yeah. Well, thank you for your service, Patty. You're a veteran of the Army? I am. Well, could you tell um, could you tell everyone um, when you served and what you did and, and, and how, how was your experience? Oh, I served in the early 90s um, from 90, well, yeah, 1990 to 98 is when I served. And I was a truck driver in Hingham. I did the National Guard. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And um, how long were you in, in the uh, National Guard? Altogether eight years. That's great. Well, we thank you for your service. Sure, what, what does Veterans Day mean to you, being a veteran? I, to me, it just means celebrating the people who have served their country. Um, you know, it's um, it's odd to it's it's kind of odd when you're a veteran because you're like the, it's the state, <laughs> it was, well, you know, A lot of veterans are so humble. It's just you know they they, they do what needs to be done and well, that's um, just it. yeah yeah they get the job done and. and if someone says thank you, fine. If not, you just that's just keep right. doing what you got to do, yep, right? That's right. Well, we appreciate your service, and I'm so glad that you uh, stopped by to say hello. Sure. Happy Veterans Day, Patty. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. What is your name, sir? My name is Jose. Hi, Jose. Um, happy Veterans Day. Oh, same with you. Um, are you here for the parade? Yes. Wonderful. Welcome, welcome to to the parade in Rocket. Um, can you just tell us why uh, why you're here today? So uh, I'm here just. Uh, this is my first time, and um, I am here because uh, my daughter, she's uh, in, in high school. Is she in the she, band, or is she? Yes, yes. What does she play? Uh, an instrument? No, I don't know exactly. Oh, okay. But uh, she's she's, a, she's in the Brockton High School yes, yes. Uh, band. She'll be marching through. Yes. Well, that's wonderful for you to come and see her and support yes, her yes. as a good dad. Yes. Yes. How old is your daughter, and what grade? Uh, you know. She's on. Uh, she's a. Uh, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. no, I mean, 16 years old. Okay. And uh, so next year is her last year in high school. Oh, she'll be a senior. Yes. So she's a junior this year. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I went to Brockton High. Okay. Good school. Oh, yes. I hope she does well, and I know she will do well. Yes, she will. And she will do well because she has yes. a nice father yes. who cares. Yes. Thank well, you happy so Veterans Day. Oh, nice to, to meet you, Jose. Oh, thank you. Same to you. Yeah. Bye, -bye. You. bye bye. We're here on Veterans Day with our our resident celebrity, Nubi Rateau producer, Emmy award-winning documentarist in the city of Brockton. Newby, good morning, buddy. Good morning, happy Veterans Day. What does Veterans Day mean to you, my friend? You know, it's it's the ultimate service, right? It's the exactly. ultimate service and, and, and the ultimate type of patriotism of, of you know, it's a thankless uh, job. Yeah. And, and they do it because they love this country. Uh, so many uh, things that this country has afforded so many different people. It's, and it's our chance for as a community to say, you know what, thank you. Exactly. You know, because it's a thankless job, but we've got to set a day for our and, and say thank you to them for for all their service and you know for going out there and risking their lives. Exactly, putting themselves in harm's way. Some situations you know, are, are, are extremely dangerous, and deadly, uh, and sacrificing for the good of the country and the good of the people. And uh, and basically, you know, America, You're red, right. white, and blue, and the flag. So the cool things. A lot of veterans, you know, are serving um, in the police department now, serving uh, you know in the fire department. So they're still serving which is really cool. So, uh, you know, it's an opportunity to just, uh, you know, acknowledge you know, the great work that they're doing and, you know, kind of send them our prayers and, you know, their best wishes and, you know, just, just really say, you know what, we appreciate you, we love you, and uh, we're here for you. Can you tell us um, why you're here today? Uh, my son is actually in the parade. He's a Cub Scout this year. 
Oh, that's great. How old is your son? He's seven. Which pack is he in? Uh, he is in um, 117, I think it is. I was in pack 21 as a kid here in Brockton, but um, I'm sure he's in a, with a good group of people. Yeah, he's a Tiger Scout this year, so wow. it's his first year. I'm very excited. Well, thank you so much. Um, you here for the Veterans Day Parade? Yeah, these are his siblings, Logan and Sadie. Oh, good. You yeah. want to say hi? Hi. Are you guys from Brockton? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. What schools do you go to? I go to South Middle School. Oh, okay. South Middle School. Excellent. They, they both go there. Well, that's great. So well, I was in sixth grade. Okay. <laughs> well, we're glad that you're here today. Thank you so much and, and enjoy the parade. It'll be starting very soon. It starts at 10 o'clock. Thanks so much. Thank you. Nice. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. I see you're wearing uh, Brockton High swag, as they say. Yep. Can you tell us um, why you're here today and, and what Veterans Day might mean to you? My son's in the parade. He's in the marching band. What so instrument? Sax. Saxophone. Excellent. And your son is her son? He is. Wonderful. Yep. My son was in the band, too, a few years back. Um, it's always a good. It's always a good take here in Brockton. And we see it, we're supporting Brockton High and Brockton schools. We see the old good old boxer so well thanks for supporting the school thanks for coming out for veterans day and thanks Thank for you. being there for your son i'm sure he's a great saxophonist oh yeah does he does he play a lot in the house not really oh. <laughs> well well vinnie macrina would say practice practice I practice know. get that phone away from him get him away from the tv and the computers and get him to practice those sax the saxophone so he'll be great thank, thank you guys thank happy you. veterans day
Thank you, What's up, buddy? Moises Rodriguez. How's things, my friend? Mayor, former Mayor Rodriguez. You are a veteran. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Thank, thank you. you for your service. No, thank you. Thank you for being here. Man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. We're gonna say hi to the mayor. Hi, guys. Mayor, Veterans Day. Council what does elect. It mean how are you? This is well. It's about saying thank you to those that have served and those that are currently serving, and we wouldn't be able to gather as a community without the sacrifices of the brave men and women. So this is an awesome day, but it's not just today, it's every single day, Tom. We have to always honor those that have served. Very well Thank said, in, in total agreement. Thank Hi, you, everyone. Uh, hello there, well, Representative. Congratulations, Councilor. Thank you. Up. Oh. Here we Happy are with, with Happy John Buckley. Happy 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 Day, Day, Mike, Senator Let's Buckley. Good to see everyone. This Hi, Councilors. How are you? Good to be here. Oh, the school committee. My old friends here. How is everyone? Happy uh, Veterans Day. Uh, David, oh, David Texera. Rita Mendez. Good to see you. Hi there, nice Representative. Good to see you. A great day. A great day here in Brockton for Veterans Day. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and say hi to my friend Shirley Azak. Nice to see you here. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Thanks for joining us. And I see I see Councilor Elect. David Tessera, look at him looking sharp in that suit. Hi guys, nice to see you. Happy Veterans Day. Good to see you all. Good to see you. Thanks for thanks for taking part in the parade. You guys class this place up. Hi everyone, happy Veterans Day. Oh wow, we have an impressive alignment of cars. Happy Veterans Day. Antiques, classics, Model Ts, muscle cars. What better than a, than a Chevy Impala? What does that say to you about US strength and US muscle? Wow, this is a gorgeous, look at these gorgeous antiques everyone. Gorgeous car. How you doing? Happy Veterans Day. What year is this car? 1928. A 1928. Ford. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Thank you for taking part. We appreciate it. What year is your Ford? 1926 Ford. Thank you. Happy Veterans Day.
Wow, here's a sharp little pickup truck, huh? This is what a pickup truck happened, uh, came to be. Hi there, what year is your pickup? 1930. Thanks for participating. <coughs> Happy Veterans Day. What year is yours? <coughs> Wonderful. Look at those white wheel, white uh, white walls. Good morning. What year? 1910. 1910. A lot of history here. This is great. Happy Veterans Day. How are you? Happy Veterans, Day. Happy Veterans Day. Can you tell us your name? Chris. Chris Paws. Chris, why are you here today? Uh, celebrating Veterans Day and giving thanks to all those who have served for us and who are serving currently. Appreciate it. Thank you for no, coming out. No, thank you. Well, followed by the Rockton Firefighters. Hi guys, happy Veterans Day. Gorgeous fire trucks. Leandro, what do you think of this today? What do you think of Leandro? What do you think of today? I think this is really good in the community because being a veteran is very important, you know? Like, um, they've, they've done a lot for us, for this country. So it's a pleasure to have this in the community. I think it's really nice. Show, show appreciation. Yeah, it does. Yep, that's what it's all about. We have our um, ladder one. Ladder One is a huge piece of equipment that saves and lives and helps everyone in, in the worst of times. Thank goodness we have these resources here in Brockton. <clears throat> Happy Veterans Day. Thank you. Here we are on Veterans Day with our good friend Tony Donigan. Hey, Mr. Donigan, how are you? Oh, and in, in our in our yeah, in, in our in our local resident piano extraordinaire. Who are you with, Mr. Donigan? This is the great, famous Amy Corum. Amy Corum, the best pianist in the city of Brockton. And Unbelievable and beyond. Yes. I'm famous because I'm with Tony. Oh, there you go. Well, happy Veterans Day, everybody. Same to you. We're going up to Legion Parkway. Thank you. All right.
Thank you all. If you haven't heard the Brockton High School Band, you haven't been up there for one of their concerts, you you're really miss something. They're uh, just such a wonderful treasure to have here in the city. And with that, uh, we'll commence our program today.
this time, I invite you to join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time, I invite the police chaplain, the Brockton police chaplain, Pastor John Beals of the Manual Baptist Church, in the invocation. Our gracious God in heaven, we are pleased today to be able to remember and honor those that have served our country in the armed forces from the massive battles of the world wars to the ugly conflicts of both Korea and Vietnam, from the Gulf and Middle East to the defense on our very shores, men and women of all ages have devoted themselves to defend and secure our freedom. Father, we think of those that first have lost their lives for this cause, most of them being young men they sacrifice their future and their very lives so that we could live in freedom. We think also, Lord, of the POWs, the MIAs, people that suffered more than tongue can tell. We remember also, Lord, those that have served and have returned. They've come back, but they have come back with scars that nothing can heal. We think of the families of those that have lost loved ones. We think also, Lord, of those that serve and continue to serve today, faithfully acting to preserve our freedoms. Our Father and God, the sacrifices that these many have made are truly significant, and yet it is but a reflection of what you have sacrificed for us, the sacrifice of your Son, for our spiritual freedom cannot be ignored. And for this, we are eternally thankful. As we commemorate our military personnel on this special day, I pray that we as Americans will continue to respect and honor these brave and willing young men and young women, older men and older women. Let them always look to you. Grant them your grace. Supply them your comfort, protect them from harm, and may the blessing of God rest on them. In the name of Jesus we ask, amen. Thank you, Pastor. At this time, I would like to reintroduce uh, the Honorable Mayor, Robert F. Sullivan, who has been so supportive of veterans and as he outlined, uh, so many things have uh, been done in the community to recognize uh, their service. Thank you again, David. I also want to recognize uh, Fire Chief Brian Nardelli and Police Chief Manny Gomes for being here. And you know, a lot of our uh, brave men and women um, that serve every day uh, our city, fire and police and city employees and school employees are indeed veterans. So I want to give them a round of applause right now. We truly have heroes among us today, uh, people that have sacrificed time away from their families and uh, have been injured emotionally and physically because of war and battle and conflict. And uh, we'll never forget that. We're very fortunate to have the VA hospital here in the City of Champions. And, you know, we go up there, I go up there quite often to talk to uh, the medical personnel up there. And, you know, we, we need to always, always thank our veterans. And there's one veteran I'm going to give a shout out right now because he's 98 and he's a Brock Tony and his name is Lou Tarantino. Lou Tarantino was prisoner of war of the Nazis for two and a half years. We'll never forget that, and Lou is, is a, a true Brocktonian. And I don't know how much longer we're going to have Lou with us, but every single day we have to thank Lou and the greatest generation because none of us, none of us would be here without them. At this time, I'm going to give a proclamation proudly. Thank you. A 
proudly give this proclamation as the mayor of the city of Brockton, whereas since the Commonwealth's colonial days, thousands of men and women have served our country in defense of freedom and liberty. And whereas on November 11, 1918, the armistice was signed in the forest of Compiègne by the Allied nations in Germany, ending World War I, the war to end all wars, after four years of conflict. And whereas we honor and salute those who have served our country throughout the generations with honor, patriotism, and courage, and whereas it is appropriate that all Brockton citizens remember the bravery of those that have served our country so that their dedication and sacrifice is served as a reminder of the cost of our freedom. Therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, hereby proclaim today, November 11, 2021, in the city of Brockton as Veterans Day, and I truly urge all residents in our fine city to join me in observing this day. I proudly sign and seal it the 11th day of November 2021, and I will give it to David Farrell, our veteran services agent for the city of champions. Thank you, and God bless you all. God bless the veterans, and God bless the city. Thank you, Mayor. And at this time, I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker, uh, VFW Post 1046 Commander Robert Graham. Greetings, Mayor Sullivan, elected officials, Brockton Police Department, Brockton Fire Department, Brockton High School, Brockton Rotary Club, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, and the Brockton BFW. I want to begin today by expressing my gratitude to everyone for joining us and for allowing me the opportunity to speak. I want to start with a little history about uh, Veterans Day for the younger generation in the audience today, and maybe some of the older folks that might have forgotten. World War I, known at the time as the Great War, officially ended when the treaty was signed on June 28, 1919. However, fighting ceased seven months earlier when an armistice or temporary cessation of hostilities between the Allied nations and Germany went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. For that reason, November 11, 1918, is generally regarded as the end of all wars. In November 1919, President Wilson proclaimed November 11 as the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words. To us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride and heroism of those who died in the country's service and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it was, has freed us from and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of nations. In 1954, after World War II had required the greatest mobilization of military personnel in the nation's history, after American forces had fought aggressive aggression in Korea, the 83rd Congress, at the urging of veteran services organizations, amended the Act of 1938 by striking out the word obstacles and, insert, and inserting in its place veterans. That gives us Veterans Day as we know it today. Going all the way back to the American Revolutions for everyone who served, there was no question about what they were fighting for. It was for their house, their home, their businesses, their farms, their villages, town, or city. It was also for freedom. That freedom has transcended generations, not because it has been guaranteed or has become easy, but because over the years, selfless Americans have continued to stand up raise their right hand, and commit to ensuring liberty for all. Today we celebrate the millions of veterans who have endured our freedom since America's humble beginning. We celebrate their determination, dedication, unwavering patriotism. Through war and in times of peace, American veterans 
have remained committed to ensuring our great country remains the land of the free and is surely the home of the brave. Throughout our history, time and again, our veterans have answered the call to service with resolve and resilience, and we have reaped the many benefits of their selfishness. For many in our country, today is just another day. They may be at home or work or out running errands or other things, oblivious to this occasion. But for those of us here today, we know the importance of this day, the importance of honoring the sacrifice of the relatively few who afford each and every American the opportunity to live free of tyranny and fear. As a country, we cannot ever fully repay the debt of gratitude we owe this special group of individuals. We start by celebrating them today. We teach our children of their sacrifices. We encourage others to show their support and appreciation in every turn. We should work every day to honor our veterans, not just on Veterans Day, but every single day. Every American citizen each of you here today has a role to play in carrying forward the legacy of our freedom. That's one reason why it is important that we continue to reach out and support our newest generation of veterans. Those who have returned from the front lines in the Middle East and help, them, help pick them up when they are down, offer support through their transitions to civilian life and help carry them when they are weary and feeling alone. We can never repay the debt we owe to our nation's heroes, but it remains our duty to try. I hope today serves as motivation to all, us all with renewed sense of patriotism, purpose, and pride. For America is truly the best country on earth as a direct result of those who served it. Thank, thank you to all my brothers and sisters in arms. Happy Veterans Day and to each of you. And to all the Vietnam veterans, welcome home. Thank you. Thank you, Commander Graham. And at this time, I invite you and the um, Master at Arms, uh, Mr. Eric Flaherty, to place the wreath at the flagpole. Details! Attack!
Brockton Fire Department's pipe and drums will conclude this ceremony with amazing grace. to uh, invite the mayor to the podium for our final remarks. So first of all, I, I was a city council for 14 years and I've been, it's been an honor to be the mayor two years. I've never seen so many people come to an event like this. So I want to thank you all for being here. There's a special person I want to thank, Dave Farrell. Dave is a public servant. He is a Marine. He loves the city. Dave uh, started his career in the mayor's office and then he was director of the parking authority, and now he's just done so much for our veterans as veteran service agent. This will be David's last time doing a parade in the city of Brockton as he's turning the page in his life and retiring at the next calendar year begins. So on behalf of the mayor's office, on behalf of every city department, school department, and all of us here in the city of Champion, city of Brockton, David Farrell, thank you for what you do. Thank you, Mayor. As I said before, that concludes today's services. Thank you so much for joining us. It's uh, been a wonderful day.